I don't like to speak in superlatives and I especially don't want to be the YouTuber that hypes every piece of gear he reviews. But in all honesty, this is the best FOSS pedal I have ever tried. <laughs> I find this difficult. Recently I also reviewed the Barber Direct Drive and basically stated that this pedal deserves more hype. Now I'm talking about a FOSS pedal that I'm really excited about, so let me be clear about one thing. Nobody asks nor pays me to make these videos or to say these things. I buy all of these pedals myself and it's my own opinion. Not coincidentally, this FOSS is on the same board as my Direct Drive. I was looking for a good drive and fuzz to go on the board with my Ajax effects and after trying quite a few, these two are what I ended up with. And if I really don't like something, I just don't make a video about it because I don't simply want to go online and bash other people's work. Today though, I'm doing the opposite of that because I stumbled onto another great pedal that doesn't get talked about enough in my opinion and that's the Deep Trips Page Bender. I am very fuzzy about fuzzes, but just like with the Barber Direct Drive, this was love at first sight. And in this video I will try my hardest to explain and show you why I feel that way. I have had my fair share of fuzz pedals on this channel, but to be honest, I have a pretty hard time finding a fuzz I actually like. The most recent one I reviewed was the Mythos Golden Fleece, which I was also trying for this board. But it didn't suit me enough, so I didn't keep it. Eventually I narrowed it down to Tone Bender style pedals, because those are the fuzzes I generally like the most in recent years. But even though I knew what type of fuzz I wanted, there are still some reoccurring issues that I've had in the past. A lot of times these fuzzes can alter the core sound of the amp too much and have a narrow range that's difficult to dial in to sit well in the mix. The best one I've had so far and still own to this day is the Ramble FX Twin Bender, but unfortunately these are no longer made. I had to go looking for something else. A tone bender I could tweak enough to not get boomy nor fizzy without having to tinker for weeks until I find something that actually works. Not a lot of pedal companies do tone benders these days and if they do it's mostly one of the later versions. That's why I had to widen my search. <laughs>
I was searching high and wide and eventually started looking into what kind of FOSS pedals Scott Holiday from Rival Sons is using, since he's quite the FOSS lord. There I discovered he uses a Deep Trips Hellbender, which is also a Tone Bender based FOSS. While I was looking into that, I discovered they also make something called the Page Bender, and being the Jimmy Page fan that I am, I was of course instantly intrigued. But when I checked out the reviews and demos, it simply sounded great and seemed to have everything I need. You have separate controls for lows and highs, so you can make sure the pedal doesn't get too fizzy or too boomy. And besides your basic controls for volume and fuzz, you also get a bias knob to go from spottery to sustaining, which is always a fun option to have. They advertise this pedal as going from overdrive to fuzz. Since I don't use huge amounts of fuzz, that seemed fine, although I did worry if it would be fuzzy enough. In comparison, their Hellbender fuzz is way more aggressive and gainy. So this seemed a bit tame in comparison, but from the sound samples online this seemed way more up my alley. So I took the chance and ordered it straight from Deep Trips in Brazil. <laughs> As you could hear, this pedal can cover a lot of sonic ground and I haven't yet gotten a bad sound out of it. And even though I don't like to tinker, I find it very easy with this pedal to twist a few knobs if I want to do something different. It works intuitive and the pads have a very usable range. The thing I like best about the Page Bender is the fact that it perfectly integrates with your amp sounds. What I dislike about many fuzzes is that it sounds like you throw a woolly blanket over your amp, but not with this one. I didn't even need the high and low controls because I feel like they're perfectly set at 12 o'clock. 
It has enough volume and a wide range of fuzz on tap. You can go from a gritty drive to a gnarly fuzz. And thanks to all those qualities, I never got lost in the mix while using this pedal. Never have I gotten along with a fuzz this quick and easy. And I think it's definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Is everything perfect about this pedal? Well, almost. The indicator light takes some getting used to and I actually forgot this was the indicator light while using it at a show, so I played a couple more tunes with Foss than I intended to. And I also think it would have been cooler if they actually used the Zoso logo for it. Next to that, it's not a cheap pedal, but also not overly expensive for a boutique pedal. And I think it's well worth the money. A lot of boutique tone benders can get way more expensive and that's also the reason why I decided for this one. And as far as my experience goes, I am very happy with the service Deep Trips offered. So if you are into fuzzes and haven't done so, go check out Deep Trips. If you own or try one of their pedals, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll see you next time.